Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic tarot intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in this reading, I'm going to tell you what other people see in you that you don't see in yourself. I will give you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Please take a moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Also, if you would like to further support the channel, please click that super thanks button. It is that heart-shaped icon just below the video. But let's get straight into your reading. Take a moment and meditate here on the three piles and pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. And let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful group one, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay, and I am a psychic tarot card intuitive, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in this reading, I'm very excited because I am going to tell you what other people see in you, but you don't see in yourself. So this is a very intriguing and mysterious reading that we will be revealing some things that you just may have not known about yourself. You know about it and you do live these qualities every day, but maybe they do not stand out to you in a way that they stand out to others. And I will give you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Take a moment, click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. But let's get straight into your reading. So group one, you were naturally attracted here to the gorgeous carnelian heart stone. And the carnelian heart stone is a wonderful choice for you because this stone represents your throat and your heart chakra. It helps to give you even more um, self-confidence, more power, and just that overall sense of helping you to feel empowered about making even wonderful life choices. So I love this for you. So let's see what card you do have. And you have here, Angel of Truth. And this is such an adorable card. But I can clearly see here that you are one that do, you speak the truth and you, but you do it in such a subtle way where you do not want to hurt other people's feelings. But you speak the truth to, to, for the better half of others, to, for the betterment of others, those around you, those that are really close to you. And sometimes you will conceal the truth so that you don't hurt another's feelings. So that, for example, maybe you'll know something about a best friend's just this is just an example a best friend's boyfriend but you won't say anything because you do not want to hurt your best friend or you'll conceal the truth for the betterment of others but you'll also speak the truth for the betterment of others but let's pull more energy to get even more insight what do others see in you that you do not see in yourself and you have here, you see the death card. So with the death card, this is about transformation and new beginnings, change. So you do want change. You want that positive change. You have that third eye perception to see through the utter madness, the clutter, what's going on around you. You are very high intuitive and others see that you're high intuitive as well. But you may not see this in yourself because you don't, you're not really um, that focused on that part of you. But yes, you're about transformation. You're about new beginnings 
and you know, putting an end to things that really do not serve you because you walk in a very subtle way. You have this very um, beautiful softness about you, even the way that you speak. Your voice is nice and soft and warm. Um, the way that you look as well is very enduring and warm looking, very inviting. You have such a beautiful, soft appearance about you. Your face is this face that others want to get to know, but yet and still um, you seem really like distant and aloof, but you're not. You're very well tuned in to your surroundings and what's going on around you. So let's pour more energy. Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you that you do not see in yourself? And you have here manifesting and doing. So see, you're a go-getter. But you're pretty hard on yourself when it comes to your goals. You kind of pick things apart and you do think a lot, but you are a powerful manifester. You'll say something and the next thing you know, you'll have it. And people around you or people close to you, they notice that about you. And um, you're about that life when it comes to, you know, walking the walk, you talk the talk. You walk it, you talk it and reverse. You talk it, you walk it, manifesting and doing. You put your money where your mouth is, but sometimes you're so hard on yourself and you say, I'm not doing enough. Maybe I should be pushing a little harder. No, you are very powerful in your creations, in your creative life, in your creative um, adventures as well. You're, uh, you are a goal getter. If you set out to go to school, you go to school. If you set out to do a creative project, you make sure you do that. The thing is, you're so hard on yourself that you don't see the beautiful manifestations that is taking place around you within those projects and within those goals. So you're encouraged here by spirit to just relax and don't be so hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up because you are doing just fine. You are this powerful powerful, powerful um, manifesto. You do take action a lot. So let's pull more cards to get even more insight. What do other people see in you that you don't see in yourself? And you have here the mother of swords. So see, yes, you're very nurturing, very warm, um, a very intellectual. This is air energy here. Um, the air signs Gemini, Libra, even Aquarius. This could be in your sun, moon, or rising, or even in your Venus placements. This could also be in the placements of the people that are closest to you that see these qualities in you. And if they are, this is a very strong confirmation here in your reading. But specifically with the Mother of Swords energy, this is about you being nurturing and very warm. So I love this confirmation that Spirit is giving us here already in your reading. You are very nurturing, very warm. You you speak the truth. The mother of swords, she is the truth teller. This is about your intellect and your mind. You have only good things that you want for other people. You want to see other people do good and you want um, to see other people evolve and grow around you as well as yourself. So you are not a hater. You are not a hater at all. And sometimes you see yourself as judging a lot. You say, maybe I'm too judgmental. Maybe I'm too hard on this person. But see, you're this mother of swords. You're nurturing. You're very powerful. And you do want to see other people around you win. And so that is very beautiful. And others see that in you, but you don't see that in yourself. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pull more energy. What do others see in you, but you don't see it in yourself? And you have here the Empress. Yes, I love this because this makes perfect sense. The Empress is about growth, is about abundance, is about manifestation and, you know, fertility as well. So you are a very good parent. So you probably do have children and maybe you're so hard on yourself whether or not you're doing the right thing by your children you're a good parent and others see that about you and some of you are um children to pets you are a pet mom maybe you have a dog or a cat or a fish or a turtle but you take very good care 
of those around you and those that you do have responsibility of. You are this Empress energy here. You are her. And other people see you as this Empress, as this um, beautiful, abundant um, being that does um, create whatever you set out to do. This is a high vibrational creation energy. And I love how manifesting and doing came out in your card as well, in your reading as well, representing goals, representing creativity. And the Empress is a beautiful correlation with this. And you know what? I do also love how the manifesting and doing is in yellow. And in the Empress card, she has on a yellow dress. This is so wonderful. Thank you, spirit. So let's pour more energy. What do other people see in you that you do not see in yourself, that you may not see in yourself? And you have here the five of pentacles. So yes. And the five of pentacles is about, it's earth energy. It's your physical, it's the physical realm here. And this is about um, like, Cutting yourself off from other people is like isolation, you know. You sh you shut yourself away from other people, but you don't feel like you do, and you kind of isolate yourself from society in a whole. And sometimes that can be a good thing, but sometimes it cannot be. And even you're out to help everyone else, but you must, you know ask for help sometimes as well. So other people see you as isolating yourself because you are so strong. You are this nurturing mother of intellect here. And you you cut yourself off from, you know, receiving and allowing yourself to be, you know, helped and nurtured by other people as well. Thank you, spirit. And you do worry a lot with this five of pentacles energy showing up here and you're reading, I can definitely see that you, you worry and other people see that you worry because it's a high level of concern that you have, but you don't call it worry. You just, you just feel like you're helping and you just feel like you are, you know, wanting to be there for those that you love. And that is so wonderful. But spirit is wanting you to do this in a very relaxed way because you can help others, but spirit doesn't want you to worry. Spirit wants you to know that all is well for you and everything and the universe is conspiring in your favor. So you must stop worrying because other people see that you do worry. You take on a lot of responsibilities, not only for yourself, but for others as well. Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you that you do not see in yourself? And you have here the Messiah energy. So I love this beautiful confirmation again. Thank you, Spirit, for this wonderful confirmation. You see, the Messiah, you are always serving, you know, those around you with humility. You're very humble when you help others out. You'll help others pay a bill. You'll talk to them on the phone about their problems. You're just there very emotionally, even physically, um, when it comes to finances, when it comes to maybe taking someone on a to, on an airing, driving someone somewhere. You are just always there, but you're very, you're very humble about it, and you do not ask for anything in return. And that is this Messiah energy that others do see in you, but you don't see it in yourself. A very, very humble, but, but such a loyal servant to those that you love as well. Let's pour more energy. Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you that you do not see in yourself? And you have here right now, so with the right now energy, this is about, um, this is the energy of like staying in the present and don't get, not getting too far ahead of the flow. And it's about you, you know, learning to trust that nothing more will come than can be handled in each moment. So again, others seeing you that like, 
You want things to take place right now. You want change to happen like right now. You want people to be okay right now. You want to you want your goals to have to take place like very soon. And spirit is wanting you to know that um you are receiving whatever you can handle in the present moment. So again, this is a confirmation for you to stay calm and stay relaxed in your everyday doings and your everyday dealings with um, those around you and those that you truly care about and accomplishing your goals as well. Let's pull more energy. What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? And you have here Archangel Sandalphon. And this is music. This is the Earth Star answered prayers. So what I love about the Archangel Sandalphon coming out in your reading is because, see here, you're very talented. You're very musical. I feel as if you're very creative. That energy was given earlier in your reading that you are very creative energy. Um, and you have a musical gift and a musical talent to write, sing, dance, something to do with music. And you don't put that out in the forefront. But others see how powerful you are with this talent that you are given. But you're so down to earth. You're so down to earth that you don't want to, I feel as if, subconsciously you don't want to outshine those around you but you're not outshining those around you you are elevating and and um inspiring those around you to be better to be greater versions of themselves and so you don't see this beautiful talent you don't see a music in you and maybe you don't see your harmonizing vibration that the ability you have to reconcile problems, to harmonize situations in others, you know? And you also have the ability to harmonize your mind, body, and spirit as well. But others see that in you, but maybe you should connect more with that. And with Archangel Sandophon coming in as well, this is about answered prayers. Spirit is answering your prayers all the time. And you are a powerful manifester. So I love the correlation with the card manifesting and doing coming out. And Archangel Sandophon um, answered prayer. Spirit is wanting you to know that all is well for you and that the universe is conspiring in your favor and that you are heard, you are loved, and that your prayers are definitely answered here. So whatever it is, whatever dreams you have, goals, connections with other people, it is all answered and it is done. So group one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and make my day. Uh, group one, I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group two, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in this reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on what other people see in you, but you don't see in yourself. What is hidden from you? What is it that you are expressing, but maybe you should pay more attention to? I will give you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. So group two, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. If you would like to further support the channel, please click that super thanks button. It is that heart-shaped icon just below the video. But let's get straight into your reading. Group two, you are naturally attracted here to the gorgeous Lapis Lazuli Heartstone. And I love this heartstone because I'm trying to give you a very cute view of it. It's so cute. But I love this heartstone because the Lapis Lazuli, it represents your third eye and your throat chakra. So this encourages more creativity for you as well as helping you to um, discern the inner truth and help to develop your intuition. So this is a very powerful choice for you 
and let's see what card you are attracted to. You have here badass, divine badass at that. So I can clearly see here that there is a lot of fire going on and you a lot of creativity that is just waiting to be presented to the world. But maybe you are kind of, you know, shy about presenting this energy, but you are a full body here. You could believe that. And stepping out into your full purpose is what people see. They see like this really um, a fire potential about you when it comes to like your creativity. And not only that, I think you see how beautiful you really are as well. You're very gorgeous. Your eyes are just magnetic. You can draw in a crowd like nobody's business. Um, a very artistic as well. So maybe you have a wonderful um, gift in the arts, such as writing, poetry, singing, dancing, something within the arts is so wonderful about you. Even maybe like a makeup artistry as well. But let's pull more cards to get even more insight. Thank you, spirit. What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? Let's see, you have here the Eight of Cups. So with the Eight of Cups energy, this is emotional energy. This is about how you handle your emotions. This is water energy as seen in the lovely Scorpio, Cancer, or even Pisces. This could be in your sun, moon, or rising, or even in your Venus placements. This could also represent the placements of the people that see these qualities in you. So this is about change. This is about swift change here. This is about making decisions. Okay, so specifically with the Eight of Cups energy, people see that you do love to retreat a lot and to like be alone. You like you withdraw your energy and your time from people quite often. And maybe it's too much. Maybe you need a balance in this area of like, you know, stepping out into society, being more around more people, expressing your talents because you are a baddie. Remember that, but only, only, that cannot be shown to the world unless you give it to the world. But yes, you do withdraw a lot and you like to move on really, really quick. People notice that if there's a relationship, a friendship, or even a partnership, romantic partnership, business, or whatever, you do not waste any time. You are you're out of there. And so a lot of times that can be a good quality as well. So let's pull more energy to get even more insight. What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? And you have here, what's your honest truth? So I can clearly see here that you do like to speak the truth and you will tell people exactly how it is how it's going to be, especially if it relates to you. Now, you're not too much in other people's business, but sometimes you can poke your head in other people's business, but you feel as if you're doing it to help people. And people sometimes say, you know, maybe she's doing too much, or maybe she shouldn't be over here because this is none of her business. But I can honestly say that you are doing it because you want to help. So maybe just sometimes spirit is suggesting here that you pull away, especially if it does not immediately involve you or affect you. Thank you, spirit. So let's pull more energy. What do other people see about you that you don't see in yourself? And you have here the two of swords. So this is about speaking. This is air energy. This is about your mind and your intellect. And here with the two of swords energy, this is about you are constantly, you know, like multitasking and taking on many things that you may not see yourself doing. You, you kind of like you take on a lot. Again, other people's problems, um, you take on even more responsibilities than you do have to. And other people see that about you, but you don't see that in yourself. You feel as if you're just helping out because you want things to go well, but a lot of times it tends to drain you. So pay close attention to that, you know, taking on things that, you know, 
adults can handle themselves. You know, if they are full adults, they can handle their issues and their problems themselves. So release yourself from those burdens. Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you that you may not see in yourself? And you have here the Knight of Pentacles. I love the Knight of Pentacles card coming out here in your reading because this is earth energy. This is represented and the uh, wonderful earth signs of Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, that very grounded, loyal energy, but specifically here with the Knight of Pentacles energy. Um, uh, this is about you being a very reliable person. Others see that you work really hard and you are very patient. So they recognize your patience. Although sometimes you may feel as if I'm rushing, I'm going too fast. Maybe I'm, you know, I'm over here and over there. But other people do recognize your patience here. They recognize how reliable you are. And, and they, also, they also see you as a very hard worker. And you may feel as if you're not doing enough, but you truly are. Thank you, Spirit. So let's pull more energy. What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? And you have here mentor. I love this card coming out because Spirit just gave us the insight moments earlier that you do love to help a lot. And that's quite okay. You just have to know and really discern in what way you should be helping if it's adults that can take care of their own stuff, let them do it because you are burdening yourself unnecessarily. So with the mentor energy, people do see this positive light attribute about you, about how you're able to pass on wisdom and refining a student's character. Like, although, you know, you do, you do like to step in and you like to speak up and you like to protect people and you like to encourage them to go and really wonderful directions, um, they do recognize that you do help them to refine their character because you do have a lot to offer. You do have knowledge in the areas that you are knowledgeable in, and those areas are really, really good. And so this is a beautiful thing, the mentor. You are seen as a mentor. Thank you, Spirit. And I feel as if maybe you are the type of person that can lead a very um, a large group of people. So maybe you should consider writing a, a course of some sort, teaching an online course, being a mentor on social media here. And if you have been considering that, this is a very strong confirmation here in this reading because you are very helpful. You are. So let's pull more energy. Thank you, Spirit. What do others see in you, but you may not see in yourself? And you have here change. So with the change energy, this is about, you know, when the ego finally sees, you know, the other madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossroads in your own evolution. So others see that, yes, you are the change maker and you can change the dynamics of like relationships, you're a mediator between people, you know, people that are close to you. You'll call one person and say, hey, you really need to get your act together. Hey, you know, life is so precious. We really need to work together. And that is a positive thing about you. You are a change maker. And you're able to step aside and let your ego go for the betterment and for the evolution of everyone that is involved. And that's beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. So let's pull more energy to get even more insight. What do others see in you, but you may not see in yourself? And you have here the goddess Sekhme. And the goddess Sekhme is representing fierceness. And it's representing destruction and rebuilding. What I love about the goddess Sekhme coming out here in your reading is because you were naturally drawn to divine badass. 
in the beginning. That's you. You are a baddie. But you may not see this in yourself. You're very fierce, very strong, a fire energy, very creative, very beautiful and bold, okay? You can tear down some stuff and rebuild it even better, stronger. You are powerful. And you, you, you stand out. You really stand out with your the way that you voice your opinions. You stand out with um, the way that you you want everything to go. You want you want growth, and not everyone wants growth. So it's very different. So people see this about you. Okay, that it it they see this in you that you do want growth, and you're very fiery. I love this confirmation coming out in your reading. You are a representative and of this goddess segment. This is you. You're, you're a baddie for real. And I love this confirmation from Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. So group two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. You know what? I got one more card for you because I just really need to... Okay, this here is the devil card. Now, you know what I love about this card coming out? You help people that are addicted to things, substances. And I don't know why Spirit had me pull one more card, shuffle that, and give you this card. Because with the devil energy, this is about you able to help those around you break addictions. The devil energy is about you are people see an obsession in you as well, like this obsessive quality to help. So that is, I guess that's why spirit wanted me to pull one more card. That obsessive quality really needs to be, you know, addressed within you because you do want to help so bad that it's an obsession. So just for your mental, spiritual, and physical well-being, spirit wants you to pull back a lot when it comes to trying to help those that really do not want to help themselves. So that's why you're encouraged to like write a course, put up a you know, go on social media and help that way. And then you will naturally gravitate to people that are seeking help. And then you will be of more value. And this will keep you from being pulled in this direction and that direction and help to keep your energy up. Instead of draining your energy, this will help to elevate you and to liberate you. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to know to pull this last card because that part of this reading is very important. So group two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. Group two, I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group three, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in this reading, I'm going to give you clear insight on what other people see in you that you do not see in yourself. I'm going to give you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Group three, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Also, if you would like to further support the channel, please click that super thanks button. It is that heart-shaped icon just below the video. But let's get straight into your reading. So group three, I can see here that you are naturally drawn to the gorgeous rose quartz heart crystal. And I love this one and specifically because it's an even deeper color rose here. And this is wonderful because the rose quartz, it represents your heart chakra. 
and it is a stone of the heart, a crystal of unconditional love, tenderness, and healing. So this is a great choice for you. Group three. Let's see what card you're naturally drawn to. And you have here the medicine woman. Okay. This is about healing. You're very healing. And this, this represents... You know, not only physical healing as far as like with herbs and spices, but this is like emotional healing. How you you like to resolve situations and, and you're very, you're spiritually healing as well. You want things to go right for everyone. A very heart-centered, wanting the family to be right. If you have friendship connections, you only want connections that are healing and things to, and, 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 and you want situations that are, you know, very balanced, very balanced. Let's pull more cards to get even more insight. Thank you, spirit. What do others see in you that you don't see in yourself? And you have here the four of cups. So with the Four of Cups energy, I love this coming out next as your second card because the Four of Cups is representing this emotional connection that you do desire to have with other people. And people do see that in you. It's this feeling energy. It's this bonding that you do desire to have. A healthy relationship connection here. And you, you surprise people with your actions and like your reactions to, to life and to, you know, interpersonal relationships. It's very surprising how you do respond a lot of the times. So there's a surprise element about you. Thank you, spirit. And there's something very beautiful about your eyes that you don't see this about you. They're very distant, but yet they're very connected. They're very warm. Your face is um, the type of face that, you know, uh, even children love. Like when you're out in public, little children smile at you. Like if their parents are holding them, they'll smile at you and then grab their mom. Oh, they'll say hi. You know, children between like the ages of like two and five years old, children love you. They're very attracted to you. And so maybe you don't see this in yourself, but little children, they see this like this warm, warm presence and nurturing energy in you. Thank you, spirit. What do other people see in you, but you don't see in yourself? And you have here the four of cups coming out twice, two different decks. So the four of cups here and the four of cups here. So the four of cups, again, very strong water sign energy. Cancer, the lovely Cancer, Pisces, and all of these water signs are so beautiful. And the lovely Scorpio energy. This could be your energy seen in your sun, moon, or rising, or even in your Venus placements. This could be in the placements of the people that really see these qualities in you as well. So this could be a very strong confirmation here in your reading. Thank you, Spirit, especially with the Four of Cups coming out twice. That is rare from two different decks. Thank you, Spirit. So again, that Four of Cups is about how you're, it's about you feeling, you know? And sometimes you feel very unfulfilled with your life, the way life is going. And others can see that within you as well. You don't feel as if you're doing enough, like you're moving fast enough or you're making the right decisions. But Spirit wants you to know that Everything is done in the proper time and space. Everything is done on divine timing. So you are doing just wonderful. But people do recognize this unfulfilled energy about you. Thank you, Spirit. So let's pull more energy. What do others see in you that you don't see in yourself? And you have here the death card. This is about transformation and new beginnings. So see, you, you are growing 
and you are constantly changing, but you don't see that about yourself. You feel as if you're staying the same because things are not moving fast enough for you. That relationship may not be coming fast enough for you. Your bag may not be growing as big and as fast for you, but trust me, things are transforming and growing and people see you growing as well. They see things happening for you that you don't even see. You don't even recognize. And I feel as if you're not recognizing these things because you're very hard on yourself and you're very judgmental towards yourself. And Spirit wants you to just relax and know that things are coming in the timing that they are supposed to come in. And Spirit is giving you everything according to how you'll be able to handle it. Thank you, Spirit. It's pull more energy. What do other people see in you, but you don't see in yourself? You see here a teacher. You have the ability to communicate, you know, a certain knowledge, you know, and experience with skill and wisdom. You're very bright. You're very intuitive. So you're not, you can not only teach physical things, but you, you have a spiritual teaching about you. And I love the correlation between the teacher card and the medicine woman that you are naturally attracted to at the first start of your reading. You are a teacher here of knowledge. You have a wonderful skills and talents that you do not recognize. And so I feel as if you can teach many people like that. You, you have the, the wisdom and the natural um, gifts to attract millions of people. So you're encouraged to start teaching and maybe you should do some sort of course. Maybe you should teach on social media. Even if you just start very simply with just turning the video camera on and speaking words of wisdom because you have this ability to communicate knowledge, your experience, your life experience, some sort of skill or even some spiritual wisdom here. Other people see that about you, but you do not recognize it in yourself fully. So let's pull more energy. Thank you, spirit. What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? Worth. So you have been worthy to belong, to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. So people see you as being worthy, high value. You're very valuable to those around you, those close to you, those that know you, even strangers can sense a high value and worth presence around you. But maybe you don't because again, you feel so unfulfilled as seen here with these two four of cuts cards because you are just putting too much pressure on yourself. You're encouraged to recognize that you are love. So therefore you are worthy of love. And you are worthy to be to belong in any social setting that is uh, appreciative of your presence. Thank you, Spirit. So let's pull more energy to get even more insight. What do others see in you, but you don't see in yourself? And you have here fearless expression. You're very creative. There are so many gifts that Spirit has given you. And um, you're fearless as well. But I see, feel as if you try to dim your light in order to allow the lights of those around you to shine. You take on so much responsibility of others that you are shutting down what you do truly have um, going for yourself. So you are very, it's a very fearless, but you feel as if you don't have the courage, you don't have the strength to move on, but you do. You do have this courage because the, uh, the thing is you are spreading yourself in places where you are not allowing yourself to grow and evolve. You're putting energy into, you know, people, places, and things that don't result in liberation and growth. So you're just encouraged to focus more on yourself here and to express yourself, to step out fully and not be afraid of your success because that is who you truly are. You're very gifted. You're a healer. You're a teacher and you're worthy. You're very worthy. 
Thank you, Spirit. So let's pull more energy. What do others see in you that you don't see in yourself? And you have here Commander Ashtar, Starseed, Space Travel, Galactic Guides. This is more teaching energy. See, you have the ability to move people. You have the ability to transform your life and transform the life of others. I love the correlation between Commander Ashtar and the death card because the death card is about transformations. It's about um, ending things that are no longer serving you and new beginnings here. And this is a, what Commander Ashtar represents. It represents like space travel. It represents being this star seed able to impress and ever, and, you know, uh, um, revolutionize, you know, your life and the lives of others to make a difference in the world. A galactic guide, a teacher. This is in correlation with the teacher card that did come out. See, you are a leader. You are a leader and you're encouraged to start feeling fulfilled and to start feeling as if you're a leader, to start teaching the wisdom that Source has given you and to be fearless with your expression. So group three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and they make my day. Group three, I am sending you lots of love and good energy.